All right, guys. So we've got got it drawn out uh, about where we want it. Our handle there. Now, what I want to do, I want it about three and a half inches long, so I just use my anvil there. I'm going to start rounding this over just a little bit. Just kind of round that edge off. Uh, you can kind of see it got a little longer because you know when I was rounding it off um, but there you got you know what I'm what I'm looking for um, see how I drew that drew that out Just stuck that to get this uh, lip right there Just put that on against your edge there and just start smacking it down right here kind of half your hammer on and half your hammer off the anvil and start driving that down and hammering it out and again we started with an inch and a half and that's what we uh, drew it out to be there um, a little over three and a half inches probably about three and five eight something like that um, now what I'll do is I, I try and keep them my strikers that I can put them in in like an Altoids tin it don't always turn out, turn out that way it's the beauty about blacksmithing that not everyone is the same so but I try and keep it as, as similar as I can but I like this to be about three inches long my uh, my striking plate close to three um, somewhere in there so what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna cut this off and then I'm going to stick it back in the um, forge. I'm going to do the same thing that I did uh, with this side. And then when I'm done there, um, I'll show you how I how I curl this and do all that. Um, this whole part here, I'll, I'll show you how I, how I curl it and give you some tips on that. So I'll be back with you in a little bit. All right, guys. So what I did here is... Um, See if I can zoom in here for you. And, uh, <clears throat> drew out, I drew out that other side. And uh, what I did was I took and I squared off this end, the, about the last inch and a quarter of the piece coming down. I squared that off after I rounded it. And then I twisted twisted that hopefully you can see that okay um, I twisted the end and then I made a curl on the end there and that's zoom back out here and then that's what uh, where we got and I'm gonna do the same thing to this other side and then uh, I'll come back and show you how I bring this around and and that so be right back with you all right guys so hopefully I can do this hands and stuff aren't going to be in the way but uh, I'm going to show you how I bend this around now you want this part to be nice and hot when you do it otherwise you can crack your metal when you start hammering on it Okay, so I just take and hopefully you can see this okay. Now if I had the, my horn on my anvil, 
it'd be a lot easier to do it on there than it would be to to do it, you know, on my uh, back part here. But uh, now I got that going around, and I'll show you kind of what I'm gonna do. Um, here, once I stick it back in the forge. Um, now, on this here, I did get this a little long. These tails, I can see that already. Um, I got those a little long. So, they should be about, probably about to here somewhere. So, I probably should have went with like an inch on this when I started out. Um, like I said, they're not all the same, so it's kind of makes it neat. But I'm going to take this, I'll take this part here, um, I don't know, right here. I'll take that and I'll turn that up and kind of give it a little more of a, a little better look. So I'm going to put this back in the forge. And I'll do the, uh, do the other side. And uh, I'll get that curled around the exact same way, and then I'll come back to you and show you how I'm going to finish that out. All right, guys. Now I'll show you what I'm going to do here. Um, being I got those a little long, um, I'm taking this. I'm curling this part here. back around hopefully you can see see that put that back in the forge maybe not yeah I gotta put that back in heat it up just a little bit more Um, always, always cool your tools down um, when you're done. You know, you pull a piece out, you work on it, you put it back in the forge. Always cool, cool your tools down because you grab a hold of one of them by accident or get against it. You put it back in your rack and you get against it or something, uh, you'll know it. <laughs> Believe me, been there, done that. Now, this around a little bit, right about there. Now, what I'm going to do is, now that I got got that pretty much, you know. Or I want it. Uh, I mean, so half. <laughs> um, I'm gonna take and I gotta bring these sides in so they meet um, in the middle there. So I'm gonna put this back in the forge and I'll be right back with you. All right, guys, this piece is about ready to come back out of the forge. Um, I, uh, you know, this is supposed to be one of my simple uh, strikers cheaper one um, it's gonna end up fella's gonna get a little more than what he paid for but you know that's okay with me too um, you know it's just how it turned out so he's gonna get a little better piece than what he would have but that's okay so I'm just hammering this back around Meet that up. Might oughta. See that? Um, I gotta square this up. So 
now what I gotta do is I gotta flip it over and uh, flip it over and I might bring bring this up just a little bit and then dip it a little more in there so I'll have to do that but, um, I'm gonna get that and get that Piece, piece done there and get it how I want it and then I'll come right back to you alright guys so we're ready to do our quench process harden this back up and uh, kind of uh, get it ready to throw some sparks so what we're going to do is we're going to put this back in the forge and um, we're going to heat it up like I said, this is a little fancier than the one the fella ordered, but uh, you know that's all right. I wasn't gonna change it and just because you know. Now, if it would have been something, if it would have been less than what I would have liked, I wouldn't have sent it to him. But being it's a little more, a little better. Uh, I'm gonna send it to them this way. That's just uh, how I am. I'd rather give somebody a little more than a little less, you know. So, um, well, I'm gonna bring this up to heat, and then uh, when I'm getting ready to quench this, I'll show you how I how I do this and the color of the steel and everything. So, all right, we'll see you in a little bit. All right, guys. Um, I do not know what just happened. I cannot believe this. Um, I went and I must have hit the wrong button or something. Um, and when I was showing you quench, I um, I come back camera and it wasn't recording. Now I'm not. I can't stick it back in the forge and bring it. I'm not going to do that. And start messing with the metal. I don't want to do that but I'm going to show you here what I did this is cooled down now um, nice striker um, didn't try it yet so I'm going to show you that I'm going to show you I'm going to zoom in here on the bucket and show you what I do when you when you get this you don't want to dip the entire I grab it but with my tongs like that my tongs I grab it and you don't want to submerge the whole thing right away just this part here that striking edge just just this edge basically from right there and down is all you submerge and you keep put it in the water sorry if it's got real loud there put it in the water and you just move it back and forth keep that moving like that until that bottom part right there cools down. And when that cools down, and you don't see that heat anymore in there, then submerge the whole thing and keep it moving, move it back and forth. Um, again, I, I apologize for that, I can't believe that. Ah, <laughs> technology. Um, me and technology don't get along. But I'm gonna clean this up here this base I'll show you how I do that in the grinder um, but I'll do that and uh, get this camera turned around I'll be right back with you. all right so I'm gonna actually do it on the belt sander clean it up on the belt sander so I'm just gonna turn this on and get this going
Okay. Now, there we go. We've cleaned that up. I just quenched that. Or put it in the water, cool it down. That got hot. Oh, it's grinding. So, I'm going to turn this around. And uh, we're going to see if we can get some sparks off of it. Alright, see you in a little bit. Alright guys, um, I'm going to try and do this. Hopefully you'll be able to see the sparks. Um, get in against that black sweatshirt. And uh, we'll see here. So Hopefully I have this where you can see it. This is just a piece of quartz. This isn't flint or nothing. So, hopefully you can you can see them sparks and uh, yeah, throwing some pretty whoa, sorry, <laughs> throwing some pretty decent sparks there. Um, good grief, I'm throwing stuff everywhere. All right. Um, let me get this situated here and I'll be right back with you. Okay. Well guys, um, hopefully you enjoyed this uh, little thing here, this little striker that I made. Um, hopefully you uh, maybe got something out of it. Again, I apologize for that last little section there I didn't get the quench hopefully you understood what I meant when I was putting it in the water just as is um, want to heat that up real like real bright um, yellow real bright white almost to the white point not quite and then quench it um, so well I hope you guys enjoyed this and got something out of it and uh, I uh, Enjoyed making it. I've been making, hopefully, making some more videos here before too long. Get back into making them. So, um, like I said, I'm going to be doing a series on uh, blacksmithing, and uh, you can get involved in that. Um, just stay tuned for for that whole thing. Um, so, all right, guys. Well, I guess till next time. Take care. God bless, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Have a good one.